Online leads, my friends. Plenty of online leads. They're easy to get. That's not a problem at all. Heck, we get online leads all day long, my friends. The hard part is converting them. Yeah, baby. That's the hard part. But you know what? If you do it the right way, you can have pretty doggone good success. It's just you have to do it the right way. And that's what we're going to talk about right here, right now. Hi, I'm your host, Frank Array. And I am here with Chris Johnstone. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? I'm fantastic. Frank, how you doing? Dude, I'm great. I'm great. I'm so excited to do this podcast because we were just on the inaugural um, Friday Loan Officer Breakfast Club, which we're calling the Complete Loan Officer. It was our first one we ever did. We had an amazing turnout Mm -hmm. and everybody was riveted to it. I mean, we had to literally say, okay, show's over now. Time to go (laughs) home. We can't ask any more questions, <laughs> you know, uh, so, and it was for good reason, Chris, it, you know, mm-hmm. you, you brought up a great point. Uh, you and Carl laid out there that, you know, online leads, what's, what's the typical conversion is like 1%, something like oh, that. Yeah. And, yep. And, uh, and I, you know, I know that I've been victim of this. I know my wife who sells real estate, she's been victim of this where, you get these online leads, you make your one or two phone calls. They don't answer. They never respond. You go, well, that lead sucks, you know, yep. and then you move on. That's what mm-hmm. you do. You move on. If you're lucky or, you know, if you're, if you're a real estate agent or a loan officer who has some sort of a email thing, you might drop them on that. Right. And then hope for the best, but those aren't that great at converting either. Yep. What would be great is if there was a way for, you know, these people to be engaged with in a systematic way, in an intelligent way, moving mm-hmm. them towards setting an appointment with you as a loan officer. If only that was real. <laughs> if if only. only that was real. Yeah. Oh, but wait, it is. That's right. It is. Tell us about it. Talk to us about online leads, the three things that you think we need to know about, and then tell us how within the loan officer CRM with mortgage marketing animals, Mm -hmm. Um, how you've solved this problem for everybody. Yeah, for sure. So we'll nerd out. Hey, everybody. Um, And first off, um, if you're not signed up on the Loan Officer Breakfast Club, you're crazy. Mm. Head on over to Loan Officer Breakfast Club. Mm. Frank runs at a phenomenal show, and we just added Fridays to it. Fridays are all about marketing. So it's Mm -hmm. just 100% focused on like what's working now, talking to members, all that wonderful stuff. So anyways, Mm -hmm. head on over there. It's a free show. Mm. Uh, I'll start by sharing the three things that are backed by Harvard. And then I'll tell a little story. And then how do we solve the problem? Love it. So the first first three things, uh, there was a study that was published in the Harvard Business Review that showed follow up. And we've discovered that there's three things that you need to do in order to convert online leads. And one of our clients just came back. Um, The majority of their business is they buy they buy leads Mm -hmm. from online providers. Mm -hmm. They buy a ton of them. They put this three-step process in place and doubled the amount of deals that they were generating from the leads that they were generating. So this is their Mm -hmm. primary business source. They just doubled the amount of loans that they're funding by adding these three things. The first is instant communication. And the reason why that's so important is because if you wait more than 10 minutes in order to actually have a conversation with a lead that comes in, your likelihood of having that conversation goes down by 10 times. So put 100 leads into a system that's the difference between, you know, 10 conversations and 90. Right. Uh, right. And a conversation doesn't necessarily mean conversion, Mm-mm. but it's a funnel. The more you can move the needle at the top of the funnel, the more that comes out the bottom. So we've got to have a conversation with people within the first 10 minutes. I believe it's five minutes. You've got five minutes until squirrel and they're off on right. the next thing in their day. Yeah. So instant communication, you have to have it if you're buying online leads. If you don't, you're burning money. Mm. The second thing is long-term follow-up. So from our own looking at real estate and mortgage leads specifically, when people are filling out online forms, they tend to be in the research getting phase. Mm -hmm. Not what Google calls the zero moment of truth, which is the actual, I'm ready to pick up the phone, talk to a mortgage lender, submit a mortgage application. That journey normally takes about four months, Hmm. 120 days. Yeah. And Carl threw out a great stat this morning. It's like 15% of people are going to convert within the first couple of weeks. 
And the rest of them are actually con going to convert after that 90 day window. Yeah. And what most people don't have is enough long term quality follow up to convert the people when they're actually ready to move forward. Right. So follow up's got to be instant and it's got to be ongoing for at least a year if right. you're going to get the most amount of those opportunities. And then the third thing, which we've discovered by working with our clients on our CRM, uh, is most people in the mortgage industry are so busy and they've been so jaded by online leads that online leads suck. Let's mm -hmm. be frank. Um, well, you be frank. I'll be Chris. We can be frank. To, <laughs> we can be frank with each other. Yeah. It's That's fine. Right. Sorry. Sorry. That was bad. <laughs> Dad jokes are, uh, all right. I, don't all right. I should have done my sound effect. But. Yeah. <laughs> so, but what most people do is like, yeah, here's my online app. Go fill it out. Right. Right. And we believe that actually having an appointment and a conversation with somebody mm -hmm. can dramatically increase the number of loan applications that are actually taken. Yeah. So instead of sending the link and saying, go fill out my online application, it is, let me book you in for an appointment and walk you through so that when they have questions, we actually are able to take care of that and take the loan application right away. So you do those three things instant follow-up, ongoing follow-up, and actually take your applications over the phone, dramatically increase the results mm. of the conversion. Now, a quick story. Before artificial intelligence really broke through and we had the ability to connect to it through API mm -hmm. and like connect it to a CRM, right? I solved this problem with people. So we have a product, it's called the concierge, and what I did was I started hiring North American based professional appointment setters and getting them from other industries, bringing them, teaching them real estate, teaching them mortgage. And these people just hammer the phones all day long. The average mm -hmm. concierge makes an average of 150 uh, calls or text messages per day. Mm -hmm. They talk to about 17% of the people that they mm -hmm. reach out to and they book appointments with about 45 to 50% of the people that they talk to. Okay. But if a loan officer, yeah. yeah, it's great. It's phenomenal, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But if you're a loan officer and you're going to hire that person, you got to cover the payroll, mm -hmm. right? $3,500, $4,000 a month. Sure. Then you got to pay them a bonus for every appointment that they book. Mm -hmm. Then you got to make sure they show up for work. Mm -hmm. You got to make sure they're happy. Right. You got to answer all the questions. Yeah. You got to maintain and manage that person every day. Mm -hmm. So we literally built this whole system where it's like, we will find the person, we will hire the person, we will train the person, we will manage the person for you. And here's the solution to the problem. But it costs money. <laughs> but it, and a, a fair amount. No, yeah, a good amount a branch of money. manager comes right. in. Yeah. It's a phenomenal solution because they book an average of five to seven qualified appointments per day. Right. Right. 25 to 35 sales appointments every week. Mm. Well, you get your money back pretty quick yeah. if you're closing, if you know how to close loans from those sure. appointments, right? Mm -hmm. But the average loan officer can't take the $6,000 up front right. to put the system in place. Yeah. And then give it the time it needs. It might take 60 days. Now you're in 12 grand, three months, 18 grand. And then you start because you you get it alone in, in the pipeline. That thing might not close for 90 days. You know what I mean? You're So you're, it's a big commitment. Then AI blows up mm -hmm. and we get the ability to connect to AI through API, through the loan officer CRM mm -hmm. it changes everything mm -hmm. because what we were able to do is program the artificial intelligence to have the conversations the same way the concierge is having the conversations, but do mm -hmm. it instantly mm -hmm. the same way every single time as though that loan officer was having the conversation. So it says it like them. Right. And it converts a lead just as good at nine o'clock on Saturday night as it does on Monday morning at 10 a.m. It's mm -hmm. always on, never takes mm -hmm. vacation, 24 mm -hmm. hours a day, seven days a mm -hmm. week. You get those factory workers that come in and they finish their shift at three o'clock in the morning. There is a yeah. bump of real estate leads at three o'clock in the morning when shift right. workers get off. Right. Those were always garbage leads till now mm. because there was no instant follow up. Right. Right. So we've taken AI and trained it on all these systems. So our system, the loan officer CRM, so loan officer CRM.ai, oh, sorry, loan officer CRM.ai. There you go. <laughs> we have an AI conversation assistant. And anytime there's inbound 
communication and conversations that happen. They can be Zillow leads, Boomtown leads, inbound phone calls, inbound text messages, Facebook messenger messages, Instagram messages, Google business messages, WhatsApp messages, anything comes into the CRM. And we train that AI conversation assistant with all of the documentation on the lending guidelines, the specific brand guides for the loan officer, how they want to. And what we've got is basically a list of the most frequently asked questions that happen in the mortgage industry and the best responses to those so that it comes out of the gate kind of like pre-trained on how to have a mortgage conversation. As so you just take the leads, they go into the CRM and the AI has the conversation and the AI is actually connected to the calendar of the loan officer so that it's a conversationally booked appointment. So it's not, here's my booking link to go book an appointment. And it's not, hey, here's the link to my application, go fill out an application. Which will never yeah. happen. Both of those things, you know, very slim chance that when you say, oh, here's the link to book my appointment, they're gonna be like, okay, <laughs> you know, move on. But if it's a conversation saying, how's tomorrow at two look? And they go, uh, yeah, that's okay. And they're going, great, you're booked for two. Expect a call from Frank at two o'clock tomorrow. That's it. And that's exactly how it works. It's, it's conversational. Now in the back end, the AI takes the contact record, books the appointment in the calendar, sets the meeting reminders, puts them in the campaign that reminds everybody to show up on there. But that all happens automatically. The AI does it mm. all mm. in the background. The loan officer just sees an appointment that shows up in the calendar. Dude, this is so great, Chris. I'm just crazy. freaking out right now. Like, I'm literally going to deploy this as soon as we're done shooting this podcast. I'm going to get to the to the to the, the appropriate uh, campaign, get to the AI conversation button, and push it and go. I am just super into it. This is this really changes everything. This yeah. changes everything because now you can you can work with a real estate agent, Chris, and who you know is a big lead buyer, right? Yeah. And yeah, there's a lot of heavy lifting that goes into buying leads and there's money that goes into it. But here's the mm -hmm. here's the truth. They probably don't have good conversion. None of them That's do, right. right? So they're spending all this money. And a lot of times what they do as well is they go, they spend all this money, okay, and then um they have agents. OK, yep. and they go, well, you're going to get some and you're going to get some and you're going to get some and you're going to get some. And the agent go, yay. And then the agent gets it and makes one phone call and they don't answer. And they go, these suck. Yep. OK, that's what happens. I know an office right now where they've tried to so hard, spent so much money to try and give their agents these leads and and do this stuff. And it just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. You know, this changes everything. Now you can yep. go there as an originator and go, I know you're putting all this money and all this effort and all this heavy lifting into generating these things, but I've got a machine that will convert them. Yeah. What do you say we work together? Because guess what? I put a lot of time and energy into my machine. Okay. Right. I put a lot of effort into getting this going. I'm spending my money to make this thing work. Why don't we come together? That's okay. Right. And let's do this thing together and understand it's a long-term thing. Mm -hmm. These things might not convert for 90 days, 120 days, you know, 180 days. That's reality. Mm -hmm. But if we're the ones that are there 90 days from now, 120 days from now, 180 days from now, we're going to get it. We're going to yep. be the ones that get it. So it's a real game changer. I think it's 100%. Mm -hmm. And the conversation that I love to have with those top producers is a huge epiphany that I had, but that has absolutely changed my career and the trajectory of my own personal growth and our own personal company is that everybody in the mortgage and, and, and real estate industry is expecting salespeople to book appointments. Everybody's right. wrapping that into one role. And if you look at a loan officer specifically, but understand I'm talking about real estate and mortgages. If you take a loan officer and you think of them like a surgeon, like if you're going for open heart surgery and you walk into the clinic and the heart surgeon meets you at the front desk and offers you a coffee and checks you in, are you confident getting on the table with that? No, right? Because the surgeon doesn't do the admin and the appointment booking. Right. It just makes sense. Right? Yeah. So what I discovered is that having a specialist that just qualifies leads and books appointments, there's a whole industry. They have their own conferences. They have their own. It's like a whole world that a lot of people don't know about, but it's just people that are designed like the whole career thing of like get a phone book, call the phone book, 
build rapport in 30 seconds, get that person to agree to an appointment and get that person to show up. There's a whole culture of people that are designed to do just that. Yeah. And we're trying to get salespeople, which are real estate and mortgage professionals to do that job. And they shouldn't be because right. that's, and I'm not speaking, I'm not coming down on anybody and I'm not coming down on any profession. No. It, yeah. It's just the, kind of the way it is. Yeah. But if you're a loan officer, like, Everybody's got 24 hours in a day, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and you, Yeah. right? But there are some people that make dramatically more money than others, but they got the same 24 hours. Are they right. doing something different with the time when they're working? And that, yes. the answer to that is absolutely yes. Completely. So you as a loan officer, if you're spending eight hours taking applications and meeting with referral partners that can send you business, are you going to make more money than the loan officer who's chasing online leads for six hours? Mm. Yes, of course. The AI assistant now takes the activity of the low dollar producing stuff to fill the calendar so that the loan officer spends their time doing the high dollar volume activities. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what it's all about. Yeah, this is good stuff, Chris. I love this. I, I tell you what, let's just point everybody in the right direction right now. So uh, if you if you want to tap into this, the best place to go is it um, locrmdemo.com? Chris? That's right. I believe that's yep. what it is. L-O-C-R-M-Demo.com. So if you're on your car listening on iTunes or Spotify or something, remember L-O-C-R-M-Demo.com. And for those of you that might be watching on uh, YouTube, we'll put the link down below. Or if you're on the Loan Officer Podcast Network through Marketing Animals listening to this, the link will be down below. But it's L-O-C-R-M-Demo.com. You know, get a demo, understand what's going on, dive into this. This is a big deal. I love this, Chris, too, because there's, like you said, there's there's loan officers that buy their own leads and have their own thing going on. This helps them. Yep. But it also helps the loan officer who's very real estate agent focused mm -hmm. because now we can work with real estate agents who are in that lead buying process and we can come to them with a conversion tool, right? That's right. It's there's There's two parts to sales. One, getting the lead and two, converting the lead, right? Yeah. Conversion is always the hardest part, right? That's it's right. always the hardest part. Getting the leads, not so much, right? You pay for those. You can get those, right? But conversion is the tough spot. And this is where we can really help uh, our real estate partners. This is where we can really shine is to let them, we got conversion tools, you know, let's, let's yep. work together. You know, I love it, Chris. Thanks so much for being on the podcast, man. Hey, thanks for having me, Frank. It's always good to spend time. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening, everybody. Yeah, good stuff. So thanks, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. LOCRMDemo.com. Be sure to go there and visit us on Breakfast Club, LoanOfficerBreakfastClub.com, Monday yeah. through Friday now, <laughs> not Monday through Thursday. And uh, we'd love to see you there. It'll be a good time. So with that, we'll get, go ahead and get on out of here. So for um, on behalf of myself and Chris Johnstone and the Mortgage Marketing Animals, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch up with you guys next time here 